I am in the most incredible Chelsea Piers. That right there, that boat right there is an Aviara Escapade. It is easily, easily the most beautiful bow rider anyone has ever created. It's an awesome looking boat. And uh, if you're not familiar with Chelsea Piers, the dock behind me is where the uh, famous comedian Louis C.K. moors his boat. This place is awesome. There are people driving golf behind me. It feels like the balls are gonna get hit me, hit me in the head, except that the fence really does work. It goes very high. All right, today in this incredible, glorious, sunny, beautiful, marvelous day, we are gonna talk about the most miserable thing I can think of. And that is how to be a nasty boss. <laughs> how to be a nasty boss how to be the most nasty, manipulative boss you can be. Now, why would you want to know this? Number one, what not to do. <laughs> Straight up, what not to do. These are my true, genuine, wow, that uh, golf ball just hit me right, right over here. Uh, these are my true, genuine, real life experiences, either targeted at me or done right in front of me. So these are real stories. And the other reason you might want to know about that, by the way, we're right next to the heliport, so I'm sorry if you got like helicopters going overhead the whole time. Uh, New York City is a busy place. Number two reason you might want to know this. Let's say you have some employee and you want to get rid of them and you want to make them leave on their own as opposed to canning them. You might want to play some passive aggressive games. Here's some ideas. I don't recommend it. Use this knowledge as you see fit. Number one most nasty thing that I can recall someone doing. Okay, somebody I worked with got a resume for a potential job candidate. And what did he do? He looks over the resume during the interview, points to two random jobs, previous jobs on this resume and asks the candidate to get references from those two random jobs. Now think about how much pressure that applies. If they did not leave that job on great, uh, on great terms or their supervisor just didn't like them, they're screwed. <laughs> That's a nasty thing to do. Now mind you, from the employer's perspective hiring, it's actually not particularly bad. I mean, you, you end up with candidates who you kind of like by chance are assuming that every last thing on their resume they left positively. So. You kind of could see where the guy was coming from, but that's a nasty thing to do. Number two, be petty, extremely petty. Now, there's something in most companies called petty cash. Petty cash means things you need to buy that are dirt cheap that you just don't, but you don't really want to pull it out of your own pocket because you're an employee, it's not your problem. I need a pen, seriously, a pen, <laughs> a writing pen. Now, I needed a pen for my job. It wasn't a little big thing. And they had a formal procedure when you need product in this company. So I filled out the procedure to go order a pen. It was a $7 pen, so it's not like a Bic, but it's seven bucks, man. That's not even lunch in New York City. If I tell you, they declined it. <laughs> they said you can take a Bic pen from the office. Who the heck declines a $7 petty cash purchase of a pen in an office? And it's their property, should I ever leave the job? It's not even like it's my pen. What a joke. What a way to kill morale. Ah, oh, you want a way to win morale? Just put people out here. This place is absolutely marvelous. That's New Jersey on the other side of the water there. All right, what else? You can penalize people for trying to do good. There was someone I worked with in the same office who tried to put in a recycling initiative into the office. This office particularly did not recycle anything. Everything went in the trash. She put a bin near her desk and said everyone can come throw their paperwork into that bin. And you know what happened? The company penalized her for taking pay uh, private paperwork off the premises because she was bringing it home and throwing it in her recycling bin because there wasn't anyone in the building. Seriously. That's crazy, they penalized there for taking papers off the premises. Do not do that. <laughs> or do that if you wanna make sure someone leaves. It's nasty. Okay, all the other things. Okay, there was a job I had. I didn't last very long in this one. It was one of my first jobs and I was hired by someone who is technically a celebrity. He was a very well-known person. I don't wanna, well, look at that guy in the wave runner. He's beaming over there. All right. I don't want to lay out exactly who he was, but he's a very well-known person. And I was a little starstruck on my first day of work, working for him. 
So I kind of was ready to put up with almost anything. You know, you just got a brand new job. I was a teenager back then. And uh, this guy is a famous dude. So I said, you know, whatever it is, it is. He gives me some work to do all day long. It was computer-based work. No big deal. Then at 5 p.m., like the time I'm supposed to leave, he says, oh, I just got a new thing I needed. Can you do this for me? I said, okay, no problem. You know, it's the first day. You're not going to decline the offer. Now, this thing he did, it took about an hour to do. Then it's about 6 o'clock. And I said, okay, here it is. And he says, no, 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 wait. I got another thing I need you to do now. It's really important. You can't wait till tomorrow. Now, what he didn't know was my family said it was going to make me a celebration uh, event after <laughs> my first day of work. I needed to go home to the celebrate, you know. Here I am at 6 p.m. and he pumps up, drops on me a new task that would have been about two hours of work. At that point, I said, oh boy. I said, let, let, I said I'll do it tomorrow. What's the big deal? You know, let it wait till tomorrow. He's like, no, 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 I can't wait. I can't wait. Now, this guy was a celebrity. It made it worse. It made the pressure worse. Not just a boss, but a celebrity boss. I literally, I lasted in that job one more day. The following day, I said, I, I, I did that work, by the way really unhappy the following day i came in about two three hours in and i said you know I, this isn't for me <laughs> and, I, and i exited uh, I, I just said this is not the job for me but that is a way to really aggravate someone hold them hours after you're done with your day now if you want to kick that up a notch and make it even more nasty don't pay for overtime now on that note i just want to point out for a more serious thing because this is a kind of a jestful uh video this one if someone is trying to have you work overtime and your arrangement is not paid overtime there are things you can do to prevent that from happening in a way that you're not compensated for instance someone holds you till 7 p.m. when you're supposed to leave at 5 the next you then tell your supervisor at 7 p.m. when it's time to leave it's now 7 p.m. two hours after I was supposed to go home I'll see it tomorrow in the morning at 11 a.m. when normally you're supposed to be there at 9. Meaning that you're going to take back your hours. And that will put a damper on the supervisor who's trying to take advantage of your unpaid overtime. So there's a little tactic for you. Now, mind you, not everyone's going to like that. But that'll put it in, in perspective and control it. Now, what else could you do? Oh my god, the golf balls are hitting right over here. It's making me nervous. I know there's a giant thing in the way, but it just still makes me nervous. All right. There are lots of things you can do to really, really, really aggravate people on the job, okay? One of the other things you can do is add caveats to the job perks. Now, what does that mean? When people are hired, they're typically given benefits, things that, that they are entitled to with this role, things that, they, that when they had, got hired, they, someone said to them, this is what you get if you work here. One of the places I worked had education training covered by the company, right? Educational training, they pay for free education. I picked out some course, and it was a healthy price course, mind you. And I said, okay, I'd like to exercise this. This was maybe half a year into working there, something like that. And uh, you know what the response was? This is a good one. The response was, we will let you take this course. Let you, mind you, because I was technically entitled by the contract of hiring. But they said, we will let you take this course. If you sign an agreement that you intend to work here for the next like five years, I think, or 10 years. I don't know what it was, something absurdly long. Like, in or and the agreement would be that if I don't, if I cut out early, I'd have to repay them for the, for the training cost. Seriously, like, that was part of the perk when you said I'm hired, when you, you offered me the job, was that, you know, I'm supposed to be able to get free training while working here. So there's the lesson here to be learned on that one is, if you offer someone a role, and then find a way to continue to offer it so you're not um, violating your agreement, but you are changing the terms of how, it, 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 how they have to exercise it so they're really unhappy. Right then and there, you got someone really good. These manipulation tactics are just nasty. I, I hate all of these things. It's good to learn them though, to understand. So if you are the, uh, the person vulnerable to them, if you are the victim of these tactics, you understand what it is. They're not just 
uh, unintentional. They're not people with good intentions doing this stuff. They're nasty people trying to make an impression and trying to make your job difficult. So I suggest not to be that nasty person, but if you do, it's your business. Now you know how. <laughs> On those fine words, please like, subscribe, share. Come out to Chelsea Piers. If you got a yacht like that, it really makes the day better. All right, see y'all in the next video. Peace. Yeah!